All right, a parental advisory here. Do we have the parental advisory graphic up there to warning, get the kids, get the kids to bed, okay? Not, this, this one isn't for them. The worst lawyer who has ever represented a president in trouble did the worst thing last night that any lawyer representing a president has ever done. But in a Trump world miracle, Mark Kasowitz actually did something today that his client Donald Trump has never done. Mark Kasowitz apologized. He apologized for sending a threatening email to someone who had sent him an email that was critical of him. It all started at 9.28 p.m. last night, right after Rachel made some general comments about a very negative article about Mark Kasowitz published by ProPublica. It's got a lot of disparaging personal information about Mr. Kazowitz, including stuff like about his lifestyle and even medical issues for him. It's got a lot of details about, I, I kid you not, his behavior at office Christmas parties. I mean, it's, it is an unusual thing. That was Rachel last night. That's as far as she went. She's so polite. She didn't mention any of the details in the article, but she urged people to read the article, which details Mark Kasowitz's repeated struggles with alcohol. The article says Kasowitz sought alcohol treatment at a high-end rehab facility, according to two people who heard it from Kasowitz himself. The reason all of this was relevant is that Mark Kasowitz has not applied for a security clearance, which makes it virtually impossible for Mark Kasowitz to represent the President of the United States in a case that does indeed involve classified material. Jesse Isinger, who co-wrote the article for ProPublica, will join us shortly. He reported that experts on federal security reviews told ProPublica that recent episodes of alcohol abuse are a major barrier to receiving a clearance. Someone who read that article sent an email to Kasowitz right after Rachel talked about it. The email said, I believe it is in your interest and the long-term interest of your firm for you to resign from your position advising the president pending federal legal matters. No good can come from this, and in fact, your name may turn out to be a disparaging historical footnote to the presidency of DJT. This person, who remains unnamed, does not know Mark Kasowitz. He was just reacting to the news and sent an email. Five minutes later, the president's lawyer obviously had nothing to do. He responded, and he responded with two words, F you. And as Rachel pointed out earlier, he typed it that way. He typed it the polite way. He didn't put that vowel in the middle. Fifteen minutes after that, Kasowitz sent another email. You don't know me, but I will know you. How dare you send me an email like that? I'm on you now. You are effing with me now. Let's see who you are. Watch your back, bitch. The man then replied, saying, thank you for your kind reply. I may be in touch as appropriate. Mark Kasowitz wasn't finished. He wrote, call me. If you want a conversation, I will have it with you. You are such a piece of, call me. Don't be afraid, you piece of, word I can't say. Stand up. If you don't recall, if you don't call, you're just afraid, call me. And then, 33 minutes after that, Mark Kasowitz, working on the presumption that the man was Jewish, based on possibly his last name, wrote this. I'm Jewish. I presume you are too. Stop being afraid. Call me or give me your number and I will call you. I already know where you live. I'm on you. You might as well call me. You will see me, I promise, bro. Mark Kasowitz is what would have become of Donald Trump if Donald Trump could have possibly gotten into law school and passed the bar exam. Never has an attorney and a client been more perfectly matched. The person Mark Kasowitz threatened reported the emails to the FBI. And now Mark Kasowitz will absolutely never get a security clearance. Never. Not for the rest of his life. Because the FBI is now on to him. What he did on email last night is enough to prevent him from getting a security clearance for the rest of his life, and apparently things he's done prior to last night prevented him from even considering applying for a security clearance. Mark Kasowitz, 
has to live by a set of rules that in many ways are much stricter than the law. Donald Trump doesn't. That, that is why Mark Kasowitz apologized. Apologized this evening to the person that he threatened last night because if Mark Kasowitz did not immediately apologize, he would risk being disbarred. He would risk losing his right to practice law, a risk that his apology does not completely erase, but it is a very, very important first step. Mark Kasowitz had a spokesperson release this statement. The person sending that email is entitled to his opinion, and I should not have responded in that inappropriate manner. I intend to send him an email stating just that. This is one of those times where one wishes he could reverse the clock, but of course I can't. Judgment is one of the key qualities that is being evaluated when you apply for a security clearance. Mark Kasowitz disgraced himself last night. And when you read the ProPublica article, as I hope you do, you may conclude that he has disgraced himself many times before last night. Mark Kasowitz's right to practice law is now hanging by a thread. The New York Bar Association has enough in those emails last night to disbar Mark Kasowitz, or to severely discipline him, to suspend him, suspend his license to practice law. That is why Mark Kasowitz apologized. He also apologized because the FBI is onto him. And he went very, very close to the line of possible legal threat in there that would be considered a crime, crime of intimidation. That is the lawyer. Donald Trump has chosen to represent him in the most important case of his life. And the day that we will know that the president understands just how much trouble he really is in is the day he tells Mark Kasowitz, you're fired. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.